So the Scottish Parliament in 2009 was represented by this voting system. Let's try to find the bonds of power index for these players. Uh, so we're gonna have a fair number of uh, winning coalitions here, and so this may may take a little while. So let's see what we got. We got player one and player two add up to over 80, so they're winning, and both are going to be critical. Uh, I don't think any other two players alone reach quota, because like 47 and 17 would only be 64, so they can't reach quota. So next we can move on to the three party co th coalitions. So player one, player two, and player, oops, and player three certainly reach quota. Uh, in this case, if player three three were to leave, the other two would be okay, so only player one and player two are critical there. Uh, likewise, if we had player one, uh, player two, and player four, then they would be, f they could reach quota, but only player one and player two are critical, and we could do the same thing with player five. And, uh, so there are, uh, all the winning coalitions that n three party coalitions that involve player one and player two. So now we'll jump on to ones that involve player, uh, maybe one and player three. So we could do player one, player three, and player four. Let's hear one, three, four, uh, and those are indeed gonna reach quota. Uh, in this case, if any one of the players were to leave, they would no longer be able to reach quota, right? Because we know this is the only winning two person coalition. So all three are critical there. We could also do player one, player three, and player five. Hmm, actually, let's check that one. That's 47, 17, and, oops, 17, and two. 47, 47, 47, 17, and two is 66. That does reach quota. Yay. Uh, and all three are going to be critical there. Uh, player one, player four, and player five. Uh, player one, player four, and player five, it all adds up to 65, and so that one's fine. All players are critical there. Uh, let's see, how about any, so that's all the coalitions that start with player one. Uh, how about player two, player three, and player four? Uh, that's gonna work. All three are gonna be critical there. Player two, player three, player five. Uh, let's see here, two, that was, what did we just say? We just said two, three, and five. So that's 46 plus 17 plus two is 65. They reach quota, and so that's good. Uh, but notice that if we tried to do player two, player four, and player five, that would only add up to 64, and so that would not be a winning coalition. Uh, next, we need to list all of our uh, four player coalitions, uh, because now we're out of winning three party coalitions. So let's hear, the first one is player one, player two, player three, and player four. Certainly that's a winning coalition. Notice that any three, uh, players here, including two, three, and four, uh, can win without the other. So in this coalition, even though it's winning, there are no critical players. And the same is true in, in, in this coalition. Uh, any three players can reach quota by themselves. Uh, so now I'm gonna quickly list out the, the other three party, uh, four party coalitions. So there's the rest of the, uh, winning coalitions, uh, with the critical players identified. Uh, and the, finally we had, of course, the grand coalition, which listed everybody, and in that case, uh, nobody is critical. So next we add up how many times each player is critical. Uh, so we count up how many times each player is critical, uh, and that's out of 27. And so we take each of these out of 27, and it lets us convert these, if we wanted to, to percents. And these percents allow us to really look at the relative power of the players. We can see that player one has three times as much power as players four and five, who happen to have the same amount of powers, even though they have very different number of votes.